so for us, um, you know, we, we follow a format at, at our church, and this is, we, we train on this, and this has kind of been part of our DNA. Uh, and it's from uh, uh, Paul David Tripp, and it's called Love, Know, Speak, Do. I'm going to say that again. Love, Know, Speak, Do. It's based on um, the incarnation of Jesus and how, and how the Father sent Christ to us. Uh, and then we try to practice this in our relationships and situationally. Let me explain theologically. So love is when you're willing to leave your um, circumstances in order to enter into the circumstances of somebody else. Just like Jesus left the right hand of the Father to come to dwell with us in earth. Um, no. Uh, secondly, well, that's when you spend time actually knowing the person or the situation uh, before you get to your, um, in any kind of like speaking or agenda you might have. And so for Christ, we see that for 30 years, he just knew us. He dwelt with us. He worked with us. He, he, he knew humanity in a, in a fresh way because he just was with us before he went public with his ministry. And then we see when he goes into public ministry, he spends a ton of time asking questions. Like that was one of his main teaching uh, tools. It's, it's one of the ways the kingdom came was because Jesus was able to um, ask questions like really thought-provoking, spirit-led questions. And so our first step is we, we're willing to, to love like Christ and enter people's world. The second step is we're willing to know them. And uh, what that means is we're willing to uh, ask questions, ask um, open-ended questions, ask spirit-filled questions. Uh, then we're, I'm going to come back to that in just a minute. Then we're able to speak. That's the third thing. Jesus spoke. He taught a lot. He proclaimed the kingdom. That was the third thing he did. After he loved us and he knew us, then he spoke, if you look at his life. And we try to follow that same model as well, because certainly the Lord is telling us things to share with other people. He's giving us vision. He's giving us counsel. Uh, but it doesn't come out first. It comes out third. After we've entered people's world, we've known them, we've asked well-informed questions, and, and then we speak because we're starting to hear the voice of the Lord. And then finally, um, do. Uh, Jesus uh, did life with us to the point where he gave himself for us so that we could know the Father, right? And we then commit to do life with the people that we're trying to, um, you know, listen to and, and share God's voice with. We don't, we don't just um, sort of lob truth grenades and hope they work it out. We, we actually try to hear God's voice as we, as we follow this pace of love, know, speak, do, and then, and then we're willing to walk alongside them as God brings the change.